Hey YouTube, welcome back, Leo Pazzo, you know what it is, thanks for tuning in guys. Today is going to be a special video, I'm going to be showing you how to convert your tank from a freshwater tank to a saltwater tank. A new client of mine called me up and asked me to drill a few holes in his tank and plumb them all up for his new 120 gallon tank, which is 48 inches by 2 feet by 2 feet. So stay tuned guys, Leo Pazzo, you know what it is, that's the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video and learn a few things along the way, and thanks very much for tuning in. For all my new subscribers, thank you very much. I appreciate it. You know that. And I uh, appreciate you guys checking out the channel and the videos and supporting it as much as you can. So definitely go ahead and leave a comment down in the video at the end of the video. Go ahead and like it. Go ahead and share. And I uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. So in this video, I will be showing you guys how to convert your freshwater tank to a saltwater tank. But before I go ahead and go to my client's house and drill out the glass for his saltwater tank to be, I'm going to draw on a pen and paper to show you guys the design that we went with and how it works before we go ahead and start drilling the tank. So again, stay tuned guys and hopefully you guys learn something along the way. So as promised, I'm going to go ahead and draw this out for you here on a piece of paper with a pen. So let's start first by drawing the hole location. There's going to be four holes in total. Two holes in the middle will be at an inch and a half, which will be the drains. And then you'll also have two holes on either end of the tank on the left and right, which will be one inch, which will be the return line coming from the return pump from the sump. Next what we have to draw is the overflow box. We will be building an acrylic overflow box custom made to cover the two inch and a half pipes and with the teeth slots as well which will be approximately one inch deep. Next I will be drawing the two return line piping work that will be going down to our sump filtration system. What I'm going to do here is run the piping down and then from there bring them together into a T and install a valve, a union ball valve so it can easily be disconnected and control the flow rate by having this valve installed as well. After this valve for the return line it will be going directly into the return pump in the sump filtration system either in a submergible pump or an external pump. Next we will be drawing out the piping work for the drain lines, the two drain lines at an inch and a half. And those will be going into our first chamber in our sump filtration system which will be located all the way on the left hand side. Next I will be drawing the two union ball valves that will be connected to the drain lines which will also be easy to take apart as well as control the drain flow rate. Directly after these union ball valves for the drain line they will be going directly into our sump filtration system and our first chamber. Okay, well it looks like the design for our main display tank is all complete. Now let's get started on our sump filtration system. This sump will be divided into four chambers as I like to install four chambers in a sump filtration. The first chamber will be the drain, the second chamber will be the refugium, the third chamber will be the skimmer, and finally the last chamber on the right will be the return pump. If you notice on the right hand side of the sump beside the return pump, you'll notice that there are three glass baffles, and these three glass baffles act as a bubble trap, so therefore the bubble that's flowing over the glass baffles before entering the pump will not create any bubbles which the pump will blow back inside the tank. 
So to the left of the return pump, we have the protein skimmer. To the left of the protein skimmer chamber, we have the refugium. And to the left of the refugium, we have the first drain chamber in our sump filtration system, which will be taking the drains from our main display tank and will also be filled with small pieces of uh, rubble live rock. So let's continue finishing the plumbing here for the return pump, which will get rooted up towards the display tank and connected into that union ball valve. So we can adjust the flow via the union ball valve or easily take out the pump for maintenance or replacement. So next let's continue working on the plumbing for our drain lines. These two drain lines at an inch and a half will be running into this ball valve which will be easily to disconnect and control the flow rate of our sump filtration system and return pump. Well guys, I'm going to have a little bit of fun here and uh, start coloring in a little bit of what I drew. The water and the sump filtration and coloring in the, uh, the return lines and the drain lines. Well guys, we're pretty much wrapped up here. I'm just finishing up, coloring up the rest of the uh, drawing here. And uh, hopefully you guys learned something along the way. This is the basic design of the uh, sump filtration system to convert your freshwater tank to a saltwater tank. And uh, this is uh, the method that we use. There are other methods and strategies and designs that you can use, but this is what we used and uh, has worked for me. So guys, stay tuned. Look out for the new uh, upcoming video Well, I'll be going to my client's house and be drilling out the tank, guys. So thanks very much for watching. Go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you guys till next time. I appreciate it.